Hey guys, it's me, Army Man Productions here, and i just like to say thank you for uh, all who have subscribed to the channel. This is the 300 subscriber special. I hope that you enjoyed everything that I've done so far, and I hope you enjoy what I'll do in the future. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing started. Have you ever made a stop motion that you were nearly finished with, but then abandoned it? So the stuff you're seeing on screen are some scenes that I had for Plastic Warfare. And uh, I think these were like the only scenes that I didn't use because I felt like, you know, they weren't really needed for the story. And also it felt kind of out of place. And uh, that was way back then, like a year ago, though, so... They're nothing compared to what I have worked on currently. And, uh, you know, I no longer have the desire to give up on videos because I feel like if you put effort into something, it's better if you finished it than just leave it off halfway. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. Is it frustrating for you to make sure all the army men figures are in place and do not on accidentally fall while in production. Back when I was uh, first starting my channel and doing stop motion, I didn't really have to worry about the army men falling. But when I come like change from the uh, table to the dirt, it was at first tricky to keep them all standing up and in place. But you know, after some practice and some you know redoing scenes i got used to the dirt and how you know i can use it to keep the army men standing so i recommend if you're having trouble with dirt or with grass sand whatever it may be just keep practicing with it and then figure out like you know a system on how you want to keep the army men up you're good at what you do how long have you been doing plastic warfare Thank you for the compliment, and uh, I've been working on Plastic Warfare for, I think, two years now. I had the idea when I first started my channel, but I didn't really get to start shooting it until, like, I believe a year ago. And then, you know, after some decision-making, the first, like, official episode was, like, I think three, now four months ago. So, you know, it's really exciting to see how my, you know, series that I've been working on has been changing and adapting. But, uh, yeah, I think the next episode will be actually longer than all the others probably combined. Like, this one's planned to be almost like a movie type of, you know, thing. So that should be exciting to do. So, uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, look forward to that. Serious army men stop motion disappeared. What happened? So, if you guys haven't noticed, I did a collab once with a YouTube channel called Serious Army Men Stop Motion, and they were a friend of mine. And as you know, this person said, their channel completely disappeared. So, uh, you know, expect a video, a full-on video, talking about the uh, mystery behind Serious Army Men Stop Motion. And yeah, uh, next question. What is the best film you think you've made? I would say by a long shot, uh, Plastic Warfare Episode 2 or 3. I really can't decide on which one I am proud of more. But the next project that I'm working on for Plastic Warfare, it's going to be insane. And it's going to take a very long time. I know I already said this before, but the next episode is going to literally be like a movie. It's going to take forever. So uh, I'm really hoping you guys, you know, see this when it comes out which will probably take like three, four, eight months. We'll see at the end. So uh, yeah, next question. 
Uh, so yeah, that's it. I like to thank everyone who has uh, subscribed to the channel. It does mean a lot to me. So I'm glad that everyone, you know, likes the stop motions that I make and, uh, and be prepared to see more in the future. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll see you all soon. Peace.